Okay, question number 13 now from the paper 2 of February, March 2020. This is about recurring decimals and it tells us to write the recurring decimal 0 0.26 um, recurring as a fraction. You must show all your working. Okay, now there's two different ways I've seen that this can be done and I'll show you both ways. Now one way is to write x equals 0 0.26. So you're saying let x be 0 0.26 recurring. So we can then say x is equal to 0 0.26 like this. Just put it a few times, dot, dot, dot. So I want to have two different expressions with uh, this decimal in it. Okay, and the, one of the ways of doing it is to say, let's try to make two expressions or two equations, you could say, which have an x in there and has this in, in a way that they have to be different and they must start with the pattern, where the pattern starts. So, for example, here, if I write this as 10x equals 2.6666, whatever recurring, that is one of the ways of writing it, where you're starting with the, the pattern of 6. And to have another expression, you could, say, multiply this original equation by 100, okay, in which case you will get... 26.666. You'll have 100x equals 26.6666, whatever. So that means, let me just put this over here a little bit so you can see. That means basically, let's call this equation 1 and equation 2. Um, if I were to subtract these two equations, I'll have 100x minus 10x, which is 90x equals, and this will be 26.666, minus 2.666, all these things after the decimal point are going to cancel out. You're left with 26 minus 20, minus 4, minus 2, sorry, which is 24. So you have x equals 24 over 90, which can simplify to, if you divide by, I think 6 goes into all both of these, doesn't it? 6, yes, 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4, and 90 divided by 6 is 15. Okay, so 4 over 15 is the answer. That's one way of doing it. Another way, which is very similar, is to say, again, let x equals 0 0.26 recurring, and then multiply by 10. You have 10x equals 2.6 recurring. So you're going to end up with, um, let me just write it out like this, 0 0.26 Six, da, 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 and this is 2.666. Now, when you subtract these, some, some people subtract like this would be 9x is equal to, you'll have 2.4, and all the sixes after that will, will disappear. So you have 9x equals 2.4, so x equals 2.4 over 9, which then, you know, obviously we can't leave a fraction like this. You have to multiply both by 10, so that gives you 24 over 90, which then also goes down to 4 over 15. So it's a kind of very similar way. I personally prefer this way to make the pattern start after the decimal point. Okay, I prefer this way. So always make the pattern start after the decimal point and find two equations. Sometimes if there is a number before the pattern starts, then you need to make two separate equations, one multiplying by 10, one multiplying by 100. And it depends on the, on the situation, on, on the question. But anyway, you have two equations where they both after the decimal point starts the, the, the pattern and then you subtract them and you'll see all of the recurring part just completely cancels out and then you can you know continue to find what x is as we called x 0 0.26 recurring that means 0 0.26 must equal the x that we come out at the end which is 4 over 15. Okay so that's question number 13. Um, thank you for watching. Here we have another uh, here we have the playlist for the paper for the paper 2 a playlist for the basic arithmetic that this is from and we have the playlist on the card on the top for the paper 4 once it's done and you're going to have the icon here for registering for the channel for subscribing for my channel sorry so i hope you understood and i hope to see you again sometime soon